Hey guys, Hacksaw Tech here for another video, and today we're going to be talking about the best voicemail app uh, or apps that are available currently for Android. And so today I'm just going to go over a couple options. This will be a pretty short video um, because there's a variety of options to choose from here. I'm going to give you what I use. Um, but some other ideas of what you could use. So the first thing that I'll just kind of go off and show you as far as voicemail options go, and this is for, obviously, depending on the device you have, whether or not built-in voicemail is a capability. If you have built-in visual voicemail, um, then you might not need to use one of these apps. But depending on the phone you use, you may not necessarily have visual voicemail as an option, and you either have to dial in to listen to your voicemails, or you have to use a separate app to view your voicemails. So the first most obvious option here is um, the carrier-specific voicemail apps, and you can see here, in my case, I use T-Mobile. Um, so there is a T-Mobile-specific app that I can download here, and it's got a pretty basic interface. Um, it does give me a transcription of what audio is being recorded from all of my voicemails. I can go in here and see everything, um, and it does sync, so um, it, it works okay. Um, there are some consistency issues for T-Mobile and for other carrier voicemail apps that I've used. Um, I have seen there be a little bit of a delay in terms of when the voicemails actually populate in the app. Um, sometimes they're not always the most well-designed app. Sometimes they crash. Um, and they can be a bit buggy. So this is the first option that you guys will always have. Um, no matter who your carrier is, there should be a carrier-specific voicemail app, and this is the most obvious free option. Um, but if you guys want to use something else, there's a couple other options. There are um, different non-carrier branded apps that you can use. Um, now I've tested a few, but there's only really one that I would recommend considering outside of the last option that I'm going to show you here. You can see when you do a quick search for voicemail, um, there's a lot of options that come up, but the only one that I've really used that I thought was a reasonable alternative um, to the carrier of voicemail apps, and then the last one that I'm going to talk about is Umail. Now, Umail is a pretty decent one. Uh, it does have some specific features um, that make it a pretty interesting option. It's got smart, uh, smart call protection, smart caller greetings, uh, smart auto attendant. I haven't used necessarily all of these features, but um, it's definitely a very smooth running application. Um, when I switched over from previously AT&T to T-Mobile, I actually did have some problems with my current plan and my current um, service being able to use this particular app with porting it over. Um, but it was more of just a feature kind of a thing. Actually, where I mostly had the problem was um, when I used Metro PCS, and then from Metro PCS is where I switched to T-Mobile. Um, so I don't believe I've actually tried it with T-Mobile now that I think about it. I believe it was really just Metro PCS that I had problems. So depending on who your carrier is, you may uh, potentially have problems getting this to function with your phone number. Uh, but it's definitely an interesting option. It has a nice interface. It has some... Um, some features to increase your privacy and protect you against spam and things like that. Um, it's definitely more fluid in terms of how often it updates um, and the consistency in which it syncs. Uh, it makes it very easy for you to use custom um, greetings. So if you want to specifically record um, wherever you want to record it to, if you want to record a voicemail greeting or for your voicemail whenever it picks up, um, whatever that message is that plays when someone reaches your voicemail, you can custom record whatever you want, and it makes it very easy to choose um, between those different options here. You can see that within um, the interface, there's also an option where you can make sure that it sends you an email as well for voicemail. So if you want to receive an email upon each of the new voicemails that you get, you can do that as well. And you can see in the email that you receive, um, there's a link to be able to play back the message. Uh, you can view the contact or block the caller directly from the email. Uh, but of course, those options are available within the app as well. Um, the only caveat that I'll say here is that uh, there are some free features in here, but it is a paid application. So depending on what you want, uh, it would be something that you might want to subscribe to. And I don't remember exactly what the pricing is. Um, I can actually probably jump over really quick. 
All right, so there are three plans here. There's a solo plan, a growth plan, and a small business plan. And I think for most people, the solo plan would be the one that would make the most sense. Um, for three numbers, one user, 360 minutes. Um, and then you can see that you can choose between personal plans and professional plans. So depending on what makes the most sense for you. Um, but for me personally, you know, I wouldn't probably go with something that's a paid option. Um, I definitely just need the bare kind of bones, bare minimum uh, feature set for my voicemail. And that's going to lead me to the app that I use. So here you can see, you can certainly check this out and look at it. Uh, again, there is a free option available for uh, Umail, but this is not what I use. My favorite option for um, visual voicemail is actually Google Voice. So here is what I use. Now when we um, open the application here, I'm going to show you kind of the interface. If you guys have not used Google Voice, you may have heard of it, you may not have. Um, it is a service that allows you to have your own phone number um, through Google. And there's actually some pretty cool things too, which I'm going to make a separate video on in terms of how you can actually make phone calls uh, with Google Voice. But with Google Voice, you get a lot of features. You get a separate phone number that you can use to either make calls just in the US and I believe maybe Canada, but definitely in the US, you can make unlimited free calls with that phone number. You can receive or place calls um, and you can use that number to uh, to be your main number if you want. If it's, you know, you're only really looking to get calls in the US anyway, um, then you can basically have that be your main number and you can port it over to um, your cell phone number. So whenever someone calls that number, it'll ring your cell phone. Um, and then that way you can also take calls on your PC or you can take it on your cell phone. Uh, but it, it gives you a full phone number, which is great. But in this case, we're looking at this from the perspective of someone who maybe just wants to use this purely for voicemails. And so you can see here, here's sort of the interface. Um, so you can make calls using this service. You can even receive text messages. But it's the voicemail feature that I really wanted to show, and I'm not going to open my app because of, uh, you know, obviously the confidential kind of information that's in there right now, but you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, so here is a sample or an example of what it looks like when you receive a voicemail. It basically gives you the information of the caller, uh, and you have the option here to play back. You can just click on the play button to play back the audio itself um, through either speakerphone or through your headset. Uh, and then you also get a transcription of each of those calls. And depending on the service that you're using to actually transcribe the audio, obviously will affect how good the transcription is. Um, I can say that comparing the T-Mobile branded carrier voicemail app versus Google Voice, I tend to get better quality results from the Google voicemail app or the Google um, Voice app rather. Uh, the voicemails just seem to transcribe better. Now that being said, there's definitely some voicemails that I have received where it was completely illegible and that really just depends on the quality of the call that comes through your voicemail, if the person who is talking is either on um, you know, a phone maybe with a bad microphone or if the uh, quality of that particular connection um, to the phone line is not great, then it could obviously affect um, the transcription, so there's a lot of different factors there, but overall the transcription is pretty decent uh, with Google Voice and it's definitely um, a really easy way to get visu visual voicemail for your service. Uh, it's completely free, there's no ads which is also great, uh, whereas Umail and all of the other options out there do have advertisements. So for me personally, at this point I probably wouldn't consider anything other than Google Voice um, for my voicemails. That's what I use for everything. Um, and because it's used through Google as well, through your Google account, if you already have an existing Google account, then you can just sign up for the Google, for, uh, Google Voice service and you can easily integrate and link this with your current phone number um, versus having to create a completely separate account for another um, app. And then of course the only other option there is the carrier specific ones, but they're a little bit less reliable. Um, and the other thing too that's really nice about using this, uh, one of the caveats of using a carrier specific visual voicemail app, is if you're looking to go back and find voicemails, let's say from a year ago, if you ever changed your carrier, and in my case, I've gone through three different carriers uh, in total, then you might have problems doing so. If you have voicemails um, from T-Mobile versus AT&T, um, or even Verizon, or whoever it is, if you get all of your voicemail through Google Voice, they're all going to be there, to, uh, you know, kind of despite whatever 
carry that you actually switch through. So it's really nice that you can have everything in one place and you can always have it kind of with you. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to minimize this really quickly and I'm going to pop back over to this page where I just wanted to show you guys exactly what you guys would need to do um, in order to set this up. So um, I'm going to not go through all the steps directly on my phone, but I'm going to link this page in the description so that you guys have um, all the information you need with the steps. Now this will depend on your carrier, but you can see here if you were an AT&T customer, for example, um, you basically just type in a series of commands here. You're basically just typing in star 61 star and then the phone number of your Google Voice number and then pound. And what that's, that's going to do is essentially forward your voicemail to the Google Voice line, which means that whatever greeting you have set up with Google Voice is going to be the voicemail that the person's going to hear and the voicemail is actually going to be forwarded over there. So all the voicemail is actually going to um, this Google Voice account. However, they're still making your friends and your family and whoever's calling you, they're still calling your normal phone number. Um, so there's no change there. You don't have to start giving out your Google Voice number or anything like that. This is simply sending the voicemail um, to the Google Voice account so that everything is kind of kept in one single place. Um, now again, with certain carriers like Metro PCS, um, there are sometimes features that need to be added, like you have to have a um, you know, feature that will allow you to forward um, voicemail. And if your account does not support that, then more than likely you're going to only have the option to use either the carrier-specific voicemail app um, or either built-in visual voicemail, for example. But as long as you have the ability to forward voicemails or forward calls, um, it's, it's called, so feature-wise, it's actually called conditional call forwarding. So as long as you have this in your account or as a part of your account, um, then you will be able to use this uh, function. You'll be able to use Google Voice for your voicemails. So here's the steps for at and I'll just pop back over to uh, my phone real quick here. So let's pop back over on my phone. Okay, so here back on my phone, I would basically just type in star 61 star and then the phone number of my Google Voice number. Same thing with the star 62, star 67. So this is what it would look like. And then you would literally just press this green call button there. It's going to dial and you're going to get a message on your screen there, which will basically just say something uh, about successful, It'll kind of be just a successful message um, on your screen there. And that's not how you'll know that it's actually worked when you've initiated that function. Uh, and then once that's done, you can test it. Uh, you can go ahead and call your voicemail or you can have someone else uh, call your normal phone number, leave you a voicemail. And if you're signed into the Google Voice app on your phone, I'll just go ahead and move over here. If you're signed into the Google Voice app um, on your phone, then you'll be able to make sure that if someone tests it and they call your phone, they leave a voicemail, you'll be able to make sure that you actually receive the voicemail. You can play it back and see the transcription that was left. So that's really all I wanted to show you guys. I just wanted to give you a quick look at how you can use Google Voice to um, take all of your voicemails. Again, it is my favorite service um, or app to use to take phone call voicemails or phone voicemails um, on Android. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. Uh, and just one real quick thing before we go here, um, there is one thing I wanted to talk about just very briefly here, and um, you guys may have heard me talk about this in previous videos. I do not have a sponsor for my videos. I don't work with any specific companies, uh, but I do like to find different services that are useful for people and different things that allow you to get free perks, um, free, free services, and things like that. So if you guys are interested in for free supporting the channel, there's a couple ways that you can do that. Um, there's a cash app, which is available in the description that gives you a free debit card and gets you discounts at stores and places like that. Um, there's some other apps and, and little goodies in there as well. But today what I wanted to talk about is just a way that you can get um, free stock. And there's actually a separate video that I did previously if you guys want to check my channel out for that where I show you guys how you can get um, up to over $2,000 worth of free stock. 
Uh, but for this, if you guys are interested in supporting the channel just for now, I wanted to talk about this particular one. Uh, it's called Weeble, and in the description, if you guys click on that link, all you have to do is create a free account. And once you create a free account, you actually get free stock that is valued up to $200, I believe. Um, so all you have to do is just sign up, you'll get your free stock, and you can cash that out. If you guys deposit some money in there, um, you can potentially, depending on how much you deposit, get up to $2,000 in free stock. Uh, it is random, so it's likely that you probably won't get the full amount, but it is, again, just completely free stock, uh, depending on what you guys want to do. So definitely check that out, uh, and check out the full description for all the different ways that you can support the channel completely free. But otherwise, guys, for this video on how to... Um, set up voicemail on your phone or the best really just different visual voicemail options for Android. That is it. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.